right, starting on a little bit of this body work. Um, uh, first thing I did is I just noticed there were some holes in here, so I, I kind of patched that and this will take some Bondo. I did the same thing here. So I have some issues, you know, over on that side as well. Um, this needs a little bit more work here. Um, but what I'm actually doing right now is I have uh, this new panel because this is just crooked. So what I did is I, I held this up like this. I have roughly the line where it goes. Then I have a second line because I wanted some overlap. And then I decided just to keep it safe, I'm going to cut this out, but I'm going to cut it, you know, almost an inch left of where I need it. And um, I'm going to cut up the contour here. And then here I have to be a little careful because there's the inside of this back piece. So I have to just kind of uh, leave a little bit of this here and uh, I'll clean it up once I get the piece out. So I'll set up the camera here and uh, let's see what I can accomplish. Here, there's a little shelf here that I've got to get rid of. But um, I guess I'll cut up the, the side here first. Take a look. This piece off. It's the last bit of that shelf there. So this has got to come up. This. Okay. This. I have to figure out the exact angle of some of this stuff. So my, one of my big concerns was bending this part back out right here. This is what needs to weld back on. And actually, 
if I can get this piece out, that's what I would want to do is actually get this piece out of there. Um, but it's attached here with the spot weld, so we have to go under here with the grinder. So let's try that. See if I can detach the spot welds. All right, well, cut this off, and this has got to go like this, and I'm gonna try to reattach this. Um, it's a little jagged right now, but I need the metal edge. So this is going to go in like this, and I reattach up under this guy. So. I can almost clamp that into place. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get this under that piece there, which means I gotta do a little cutting. But um, really, I have to get the angles right, so. Okay, well, here's the progress so far. I haven't done any uh, real fine measurement or fitted deck lid yet, but um, I've got this um, clamped on here where I can see the, the hole is exactly in the right place. This hole is pretty much exactly in the right place. It could be a little low. And then uh, this flaps over. Um, this is a little low, but generally speaking, this looks pretty good. And then what I did is I've, I've cut and clamped this. Uh, and it looks really pretty good. Um, on the inside, I have to bend this because remember this was hit, this was a, some kind of accident. So this was bent in. So I have to bend this flat back out so I can weld this uh, to this as well. And um, I believe the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to take this piece back off. I'm going to grind and sand this down so that it's ready for welding uh, you know, plug, plug welding under here and um, butt welding here. And um, then I'm going to put like maybe three or four welds, like, you know, here, 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 here in the critical spots. And then I'm gonna bring down the deck lid and I'm going to um, put the deck lid on of course, the deck lid is already um, basically finished, so I, I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to close it, and I'm going to see how the contours line up here, and if this needs any further like hammering or anything um, after putting the um, deck lid on. Now, one other thing that I have is I have one segment of this stuff here, which is the thing that you put the seal in. So this, if I look on this side, it goes all the way up to about where this tab is, which is about an inch short. So that would come up to an inch short of this and I would bend it and it would meet up with this one. This one's a little, scrunch, a little scrappy right here, so I might cut this off. Bring this one down like this. That'll make this, um, be able to hold the seal. So um, that's pretty decent progress. Um, I need to measure, I need to measure from a few key points, like for example, distance to this, uh, to the end of this, uh, where the bumper is. I need to measure the angles that the, uh, that these uh, bumper brackets will come off. And I don't know, I'll measure a couple other sort of key things just to make sure um, when I look at this straight on it's definitely better than it was before the fix um, I have a bunch of bumpy spots here because I had to hammer this in order to get it in order to get this back out this way I kind of had to do some bending and hammering that was a little more than I really felt comfortable doing but um, I guess it's all repairable with uh, 
sanding and body filler and sanding and body filler, etc. So, but I would say overall this looks pretty good. I just I need to sand this down and uh, and uh, just spot weld it a couple times in place to do some measurements. Okay, here's my progress. So I did a rough measurement of the height of the uh, the bottom of this and uh, did some adjusting. And so what I've done so far is I've got little spot welds here, butt welds, spot welds. And then I've just got a couple of places here that I've uh, attached it. And all I'm doing right now is trying to figure out if the fit of the deck lid is gonna be good. So my next step is just going to be to um, put the deck lid on and see uh, if this is the right fit and then I can trim everything if you know I can clean all this up and everything um, also I am excited to just see how this thing looks so I've not uh, even set it inside there yet but uh, this thing will go roughly uh, let's see roughly like that so okay I brought down the deck lid and uh, I put it in place so looking at the original side that I didn't mess with you know there's like a you know, this gap gets is about, oh, you know, it's a little, uh, three quarters of a centimeter, gets up to about a centimeter here in the middle part, and then uh, basically goes down to nothing here at the end. So, um, and then when I look on this side, it basically is a little less. It starts with almost nothing here on the side gets down to also about a centimeter, but you can see that there's, uh, you know, this is a little bit bigger gap and then goes down to nothing here on the end. So I think what it's telling me is that um, this part is coming out a little too much. Uh, both of my, uh, the deck lid wants to go more straight down so, um, you know, I can try to uh, compensate for that, but, you know, overall, I think with the seal in place and, um, you know, with the seal in place, I think it's going to actually be fine. Um, so this part here, you know, I probably should try to hammer this up a little bit on both sides um, okay I did a little bending of this piece down here and lo and behold once I bend that and then I hook this in place um, this gap here you know, I could shift this a little bit but this gap here looks pretty good um, pretty solid all the way around and then over on this side, it starts a little smaller. The gap gets a little bigger. Of course, this is because this is the new piece and this new piece may be oriented just slightly down, but honestly, compared to the accident look before, this is actually pretty good. I could always build that up just a little bit uh, to match where this is welding in. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with this overall. Um, I think the shape is good and I think I can uh, go ahead and complete the welding in place of this piece. Um, that's really what I wanted to do is just make sure that tomorrow I'm good to go. Just I got to do some weld fixes on some other areas here, but I wanted to make sure that this deck lid fit well enough to just go for it, which I'm going to do. Here. What I notice here, and this is like pretty mediocre. I mean, 
this part right here, I definitely need to do something where I, either I raise the area of the joint, um, and then it comes up to here and it looks great. So really it's just a matter of ensuring, and I mean, this that'll have that uh, seal on it, but this outside area right here, I'm gonna have to build this up a little bit probably and then, um, and then and then grind it back down with the sander um, up here this is going to be fine with the little seal and around here this is where it's all bumpy and um, I think uh, what I can do is I'll just build up this area just a little bit with some body filler um, it's really it's kind of bumpy and uh, I think I can build that up uh, and you know, I've got to put these heater channels in anyway, but I really just wanted to see how this back fender would match up with the um, with this new piece that I welded in plus the deck lid. Um, the other thing that I'll probably do is uh, bring down my snowflake um, uh, light and then see if I can figure out exactly where to drill the holes. 